Hey guys, Amy here with Hailbound Company and Sublimation and More. And in this quick video tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to press these really nice leatherette uh, luggage tags. Alright, so I'm just going to take it out of the package. They come with these nice little leather, um, hopefully you can see these little leather bag straps as well. Okay, so I have my templates here. All right. Um, they told me 320 degrees for 80 seconds. Um, the first time I tried this, I didn't feel comfortable doing that <laughs> uh, because I felt like it should have been hotter for sublimation. Of course, that's what I've always been told. So, it didn't quite come it didn't quite come out how I wanted it to so I'm gonna go ahead and follow their instructions and hope that all goes well so I am taking my heat tape here and I'm gonna go ahead and place just a couple small pieces of tape loosely on the one side just so it holds the paper in place okay All right, and then I'm just going to flip over. And we're going to give this some uh, medium pressure. Press it 320 for the 80 seconds. All right, we'll come right back when it's done. All right, we're coming up on our last few seconds. All right, because I'm unsure of this time and temp, I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna lift over here in this corner where it's not taped and just kind of take a peek. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that came out nice. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and quickly rip the paper off. And wow, huh. came out super nice. No melting at all. Um, so I'm super happy about these. No melting. Um, my pressure was about light to medium too because I felt when I lifted it, it wasn't as heavy as I thought it was. But look at the colors. And I'm hoping you guys can see how vibrant that is. And there's no melting at all. So I'll show you the side. And on the back side, even where I place the tape, it's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and do the back side now, which has all my personal information. So And as you can see, I have a little more space to work with. So I just want to be careful where I place the tape and how hard I press it and hope that it doesn't, that it doesn't leave a tape mark on the other side. So we're just going to line this up. And I'm going to put it over here because I don't really want it on my name, just in case. Placement is everything. And then I'm just gonna put a small piece right there. Okay, just enough to hold it. And then we're going to put our, put our protective paper over it. I like to sandwich my protective paper on all my products. If you guys watch my videos, that's pretty much what I do. I just take a piece of butcher, white butcher paper, and I fold it in half and put my substrate in between. So we are going to go ahead and press this again for another 80 seconds at 320 degrees. Light to medium pressure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lift. So 
I don't really need to be careful on this side because it looks like it left a little bit of a little bit of the edging on it. Um, so we'll see if it's going to be okay. Just carefully take that tape off and it did not leave a tape mark so that's good. You probably should, and I'll ask the, I'll confirm, but I would let these cool in between presses. All that is is just the rubber edging, so a little bit came off, and that's probably because it got super hot. Um, but just a tiny bit. Other than that, it looks fabulous. I mean, look how good that looks. I'm not going to show off the other side too much because... <laughs> It's got all my personal information on it. But as you can see, the other side came out. I mean, they're identical except for the other side has my um, has my personal information. So with the back with the tag, I mean with the strap. Okay, and it looks beautiful. Absolutely love this. Let's get you guys another close-up of how well it's made. And just zooming in really close so that you can see the leather on it. I know sometimes it's hard to display these. Get the very up close details and video and pictures so there we go okay guys so i love how these came out and this is definitely going to be a new product for me and i'll be posting information uh soon on how to purchase these most of the time the links will be in the description of the video all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed